feel we have to address this whole situation where people are trying to discredit the Ulster Defence Regiment, one of the biggest regiments in the British Army and one that has been on active service for this last 35, 40 years before they were uh, disbanded. And the same with the B-Specials. The B-Specials were in service for a number of years as well until they were disbanded. Not because they were doing anything wrong, but because they were actually able to take on the terrorists and defeat them. Now, OK, there was a few bad apples within the EDR. I put my hands up to that. But when you think that there's nearly 70,000 men and women went through the Ulster Defence Regiment, what do you expect? You can't have everybody lily white. There's not uh, an army or a police force in the world that can say they have everybody who is uh, 100% law abiding. You just look at the Irish Army, something that has never been looked at, and look at their involvement with the IRA. Look at the Guardi and look at their involvement with the IRA. You know, so we take no lessons from Republicans or the SDLP about the morals of the Ulster Defence Regiment or the B-Men. They were a proper force who could have defeated the IRA if they didn't have their hands tied behind their backs. There was very few UDR men ever killed while they wore the uniform. Most of them were killed while they were doing their day's work. Part-timers who were working during the day and then at night they are going out onto uh, the roads to protect the community. Where's the gratitude for that? And the SDLP, I'm very disappointed to see them condemning the EDR and the B-men, given the fact that they are sitting and have been sitting with people who have butchered and murdered the Protestant community and also 446 Roman Catholics they are murdered. Who are you blaming for that? You're happy enough to sit in government with the people who murdered 446 Roman Catholics. doesn't matter what their background is. So to try and condemn the UDR and the B-Specials is a, a disgrace. Instead, you talk about you just want to move on. Well, we will not move on whenever you're condemning or trying to dishonour our dead. Because like it or like it not, if it hadn't have been for the EDR or the B-Specials, there'd have been a civil war in this country. And them men saved many a life. They even saved Jerry Adams' life. Bernadette Davlin uh, was shot. Who saved her life? The paratroopers. You know, you just don't mention these things. You don't mention the amount of times that UDR men saved lives in this country, which outweighs any amount of uh, collusion that went on. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. Like 70,000 odd men and women going through a regiment and you're talking about maybe 100 odd individuals who was actually done for collusion and who were arrested and convicted. You know, the rest of it is all hearsay. I know a lot of Catholics and the most of the ones that were harassed were the ones who give bad manners at the checkpoints, who refused to show their licence. And of course they were held and searched for a period of time. What else do they expect? So they make no apology for doing that. But at the end of the day, if the UDR men had been treated with respect on the roads, because they knew the individuals they were pulling in, and that's what was wrong with the IRA, and indeed other people who would claim just to be nationalists, who were sympathetic to the IRA, the local men knew them and knew their involvement. And somewhere or another, maybe they were moving weapons, maybe they were just getting money for them. But you have to take your share of the blame here. If you hadn't have been involved in terrorism, you wouldn't have been stopped as often on the roads as what you were. So we make no apology for that. And I think it's another and total disgrace that we have the scum that we have in government. And at the same time, you have the cheek to say that the B-men and the EDR men shouldn't be recognised for the service and the sacrifice they give to the community. We can catch ourselves on. We just go and take a good look at what you are actually saying. Do you actually believe your own propaganda now? That you have spun yourself this web of deceit for so long that you actually believe it? Because the one thing I'll say to you, local men knew the IRA men. Local men hadn't been involved in collusion to the extent that they talked about there would be a lot of dead IRA men about today. You seem to think that nobody knew who you were. We all knew who you were. 
the local people knew know exactly who their men were and you need to get it out of your head that you were invisible that people didn't know that it was their neighbor coming to kill their neighbor and if we wanted to reap revenge or udr men or or b men had wanted to reap revenge on the, the community they could have went to the exact houses of the men who was doing the mothering so could somebody explain to me why they didn't you know catch yourselves on you should be thankful that them men joined the b specials and joined the udr because of the hadna perhaps you would have seen a paramilitary force in this country then it was that was the only thing that stopped civil war taking place in this country and the sooner you get that into your heads the better it might not have been nice all the time and people might not have been treated uh, exactly how they felt they should have been but your option was if they hadn't have been there there would have been a civil war so show some gratitude to the men who served this community and protected it because if it hadn't have been for them there'd be a lot more coffins